Hi yogis, this is Chanel with Yoga More. I'm so honored that you tuned in. So today I have a fun core workout, core flow, focusing strictly on your core. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I was gonna have a st uh, start seated. So come on down to the mat. You can be at the uh, top of your mat. I'm gonna face you right now. So. Let's settle into this pose, this seated pose, hands lightly on the knees, tall spine. I want you to go ahead and close your eyelids. Let's just take about five or six breaths here. Slow it down, settle the mind, and release whatever's flowing around in there. Worries, stresses, things you've got to do for the rest of the day. Just let it go, do your best, so that your mind can be present here for this short period of time to focus on you. <sighs> Settling into the breath, creating length through the inhales and the exhales. <sighs> Few more breaths. <sighs> Let it go. So you can bring the best you to your mat. Now slowly flicker the eyelids open. We're going to inhale together, scooping the arms up towards the ceiling, palms pressed together. Now pull the elbows down. So you're activating the shoulders and the arms here, thumbs to heart center. Inhale, scoop it up, press together, exhale, pull the hands down, taking it into a twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, left palm comes on top of the knee, lengthen and twist. Holding here for eight, seven. You can push a little bit more into the knee if you'd like, if your body says it's okay to deepen your twist. Wringing out your internal organs here, your core. I don't remember what number I left at, so we'll go with five. Four, three, two, one. When I get to talking, I lose count. <laughs> Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale, twist to the left. Right palm comes on the knee. Lift and twist. Holding. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Centering it out. Inhale, scoop it up, going into a side stretch. So we're going to take our right palm or elbow, if you're ready, and stretch left arm up and over to the right. So think about keeping those shoulders stacked, gazing up at the ceiling, pressing the left hip down into the floor, and reach. Energy coming out the fingertips. Press into that palm or elbow. Try not to sink into that shoulder. I kind of just was, busted myself. So press into that elbow, stack, and hold, stretch. Get another half inch between the ribs, and then bring it up, center. Inhale, scoop it up, other side. So palm or elbow and stretch, reaching right arm up and over. Remember, stack the shoulders. Energy all the way up the right side. Press that right hip down into the floor. Remat and reach. And don't forget to breathe. And reach. Slowly bring it up to center. Inhale, scoop it up. Turn the palms facing forward. We're going to bow over, over the legs. Now walk your hands out a couple more inches if you can. Press the palms into the floor because you'll notice your sits bones lifting, lifting off the mat. So press them back down. It's a nice back stretch here. If you can, or your body will allow it, try walking the hands out a little bit more, but keep pressing so you can keep your sits bones down. Now, yoga, walk your hands to the right. So, one hand will be on the outside, or on the other side of your knee, left hand on the inside. Now, press into the floor. You're going to press into that right palm to... Uh, Twist your torso a little bit more parallel over the right leg, forehead to knee, or as low as you can get it. You'll notice the left side getting a little bit more stretch there. Now, yoga, walk your hands over through center. 
Left palm on the other side of the knee, press into the right palm to twist that torso parallel over the left knee. Now bow, forehead to knee, or as best you can. Keep pressing those palms firmly into the floor. And then yoga walk your hands to center. And then carefully walk the hands in, lifting the torso up. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, chin down without slumping. Now I want you to take your hands, bind them, your fingers together, and you're going to place the palms gently on the back of your head just to give it a little extra weight to uh, create some length in the back of the neck. Hold. Let's go six, five. Make sure you're not slumping. I want a tall spine. Four, three, two, one. Now begin. Keep the hands there. Lift the chin up. So you're opening up, pulling those elbows back, opening up the chest here as well. Just cradling the back of your head. Thumbs are probably in the nape of the, your neck. Another breath. And then as you exhale, center the head out. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale, drop the chin. Let's take two slow head circles to the right, releasing any tension, either from a night's sleep or from the end a long day. So off to the left, reversing the direction. Here we go. And then bringing your head into center. So I'm gonna go on the side of my mat here. I want you to lengthen both legs, shake it out. Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale, drop the arms down. So I want you to think about using these muscles here as you pull the arms down, activating all through the torso and your arms point the toes and now we're coming down to the mat for a few little exercises so think about dropping one vertebrae at a time so you're going to ease into it using that core to keep it nice and controlled let's go ahead and stop here using our abs we're going to hold it for eight seven six five four three two one drop it all the way down so Back is on the mat. We're gonna do, I don't know if you know what a um, crow is, but we're gonna do crow on our back. So it's gonna activate our lower abs here. So let's first stretch it out. Inhale, reach the arms up and over, arch the back so you get a nice stretch. And then as we exhale, you're gonna lower your lumbar to the floor. So inhale, I want you to have wide fingertips spread here. Palms are facing up. As we exhale, we're going to bring our feet together. So big toes and heels touch. Bring the knees over or up towards the triceps and press. Inhale, you're gonna reach, lengthen all you got. Exhale, keep those toes and heels together. Lift and press, like you're holding pencils and you don't wanna drop them. You've gotta have that much pressure between the knee and the triceps. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bring it all the way up to the triceps press inhale lengthen exhale and press this is what crow kind of looks like uh, when you're up on your hands it's an arm balance inhale exhale let's do two more inhale stretch exhale press i'm lifting my head up as i come forward inhale lengthen Exhale, one more, and lift. Hold it there for five. Keep pushing those knees into the triceps. Four, three, two, one. Drop the tailbone, squeeze the knees into the chest, and rock it side to side. Nice. Now we're gonna bring our knees at 90. I'm gonna flex my feet, and we're gonna rock it up to seated. So you need your core to stop you and hold your balance. So we're gonna inhale, bring the knees back, Exhale, rock it up. Might find yourself a little bit wobbly. Perfectly normal. Inhale, bring the knees back. Exhale, rock it up. Inhale, back. Exhale, rock it up. Now, you can stay here, especially if you're a newbie. You want a little bit more of a challenge? Lengthen the legs. Think about creating the letter V with the body. You want more of a challenge? Release the legs and hold. You'll start to notice your feet trembling here. Mine already are. Mm -hmm. So we'll hold it for eight. Don't drop those legs. Seven, 
six, you got this in you. Five, four, three, two, one. And cross the ankles, let's come forward. Finding your tabletop position. Palms in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips, let's cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly down. It's a good stretch here. Exhale, you're gonna press into the palms, into your cat pose. Chin tucks towards the hips at the end of the breath. Inhale, cow. Exhale, press into cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Flatten it out, tabletop. Inhale, lengthen the right leg. Left arm comes up. Again, we're gonna use our core here. As we exhale, you're gonna bring elbow to knee, tuck under, hollow out that belly in order to make that happen. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lengthen. Slowly bring left palm down. So, keeping that right leg up, I want you to shift forward. Turn the elbows inward so the inside of my elbows are facing forward. We're gonna drop the chin down for one. Little bit warm up for our chaturangas. Two and three. Bring that knee back down, taking it to the other side. Find your alignment here first in tabletop. Inhale, left leg up, right arm up. Exhale, tuck, elbow to knee. Get it up as high as you can. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop the right palm. So shift the body forward, strong left leg, turn the elbows inward, drop the chin down for one. Press up, drop it two, press up. Drop it three, press up. And drop that left knee, bringing it to uh, tuck toes behind you. We're gonna hover the knees about five, six inches off the mat. So here you've got core again holding that belly button towards the spine. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the hips all the way up. Don't drop the heels yet. Take your gaze towards the knees. Separate your shoulders. So press the shoulders out, armpits down towards the mat, then press into the palms. Next exhale, drop the heels down. Inhale, heels up. Exhale down, uh, drop them down. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, we're going to take the body to a high plank. So start rotating, rolling the body all the way forward into your first high plank. So let's drop the knees down. Remember that this is a modified plank. So at any time we're going through chaturangas, vinyasa flow, drop your knees down, especially if you're a, a newbie to yoga. You want a challenge? High plank is for you. So we're gonna shift the body forward, turn those elbows in, and chaturanga halfway down. Bring it to upward facing dog. So make sure you don't sink into those shoulders. You wanna press and lift, crown of your head nice and tall. You're on the tops of your feet. Press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, we're gonna roll the body forward all once more. Now we're dropping it down to forearms. Holding it here, let's use our obliques. We're gonna take our right hip, tap it down. Now pull, uh, pull it up, arc it over to the left. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, little twist in here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Center it out, staying here in this plank. You're gonna shift well, first, let's take our stance a little wider, mat width distance. We're gonna shift our weight into the right elbow, tap it out with the left hand, fingertips. Bring it down, left, tap it out with the right, bring it in, left out, bring it in, right out, bring it in. If this is too challenging for you, stay here in this forearm plank as we do this. You're still getting a core workout. Out with the left, out with the right, out with the left, out with the right, let's do one more each way. Out with the left, and out with the right. Pull it in. Now bring your feet in, left palm comes down, right palm comes down, push it back downward. Facing dog, walk your dog a couple times. Nice, deep breaths here. Slow it down, I got the heart rate going a little bit. 
which is always good, I think. So <laughs> inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Press them down. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, bend both knees. Look at the top of your mat and step your way to meet your hands. Holding it here in a nice little forward fold, I want you to grab opposite elbows. Start with a micro bend if you'd like. The hamstrings are tight. Holding here, lifting the hips all the way up. And stretch those elbows down, lift the hips up, release the neck, wobble it out if you need to. Now slow release of the elbows. Let the head and arms hang heavy, deep in the knee bend. We're gonna press into the soles of your feet. Standing. So it's not oppressing to lift. As you come up, head comes up last, shoulders back and down. Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, scoop it up. Now I want you to bind your hands, leaving the pointer finger out. So we're reaching up nice and tall here. So think about drawing a big circle with those pointer fingers. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna use your entire core to pull the body around in circles. So if you need to stop, look at me, do this one time and then you can follow. So I'm gonna inhale, lengthen. Micro bend in my knees, slight tuck of the pelvis forward, really anchor into the feet. As I exhale, I'm gonna point, stretch to the right. Now drop my left shoulder a little more forward, drawing that circle with that pointer finger. So I twist my right shoulder out and pull all the way up. And then let's go one more time to the right. So stretch, now pull that left shoulder forward, draw the big circle on the floor, Twist the right shoulder out and pull it back up. One more time this way. We're going to do three on each side. So stretch to the right and exhale. Bring it all the way down. Draw that circle. Twist the right shoulder outward and pull up. Going to the left. Exhale. Stretch to the left. Drop that uh, pointer, the pointer fingers down. Scoop. Left shoulder comes out and pull it up. So take notice what's happening here. I'm stretching to the left now, stretching the right side, crunching it on my left obliques, dropping it down, crunching into the obliques, scooping it down along the floor, twisting that left shoulder out. It's my left side that's gonna pull my body back up. Let's go one more time to the left and exhale, stretch here, bring it down and around and left shoulder comes up, pulling that body up, release, shake it out. That's a good one. Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale, hands to heart center, face the side. Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale, chair pose. Taking chair pose here. So feet hip width distance. Sink it down into your imaginary chair here. Slight tuck of the pelvis, so make sure you're not uh, arching. You want a little slight tuck. Palms in prayer. Think about pulling the calves inward, inner thighs towards each other. You'll take notice Squeeze them if you need to. You can feel that the, all the leg is active. Now, are you rolling to the toes? I want you to roll back to the heels. Sit a little lower. Deep inhale, exhale, sit a little lower. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna scoop the arms back like you're holding um, tennis balls or something or weights. Activate those arms, now lift the heels. Holding. Inhale, I want you to stay with the heels lifted and lengthen through the legs into your diver's pose, like you're diving off the high board. As we exhale, you may bow and drop the heels. <laughs> Inhale, halfway up. So remember, if you're a newbie, bring your hands to your shins so that you can reach that flat back, shoulders back, crown of your head forward. Exhale, palms down. Take a step back, find your high plank, shift the body forward, modify if you need to, that's the drop knees and chaturanga halfway down into upward facing dog. Press back into downward facing dog. Bring the left foot down, inhale, right leg up, three-legged dog. Press into those palms, right foot up, high as you can, flexed foot, and exhale, you're gonna bend that knee, open up the hips. So think about stacking the hip bones, it's a pivot 
on that standing leg. You'll notice the right shoulder try to lift, square the shoulders to the mat, then press back. Inhale, lift that knee back up higher. Exhale, you're gonna draw that knee towards your chest and keep it up towards your heart. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, you're gonna bend the knee once again and bring it to the right elbow. Notice your core working here. Inhale, lift it back. Exhale, you're going to twist now. Bring the knee to the left elbow. Inhale, bring it back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, you're gonna bring that knee all the way under, drop the foot between the hands. So you're pressing the hips down here. Finding your high lunge. Now you're gonna pivot that back foot at 45. And inhale, lifting that left arm, you're gonna swing it all the way back and around. Make your way to warrior two. So remember your body's centered here. Pressing the arms down, finding the resistance so that you activate the arms. Inhale, we're going to reverse our warrior. So reaching that right arm, my left arm comes behind my back. Now we're gonna lengthen that right leg and reach a little bit further back, opening up here through right side body and your chest. Another breath. Inhale, T your arms out. So both legs are uh, straight, T your arms out like warrior two. Now, as we inhale again, we're gonna shift the body forward. The legs stay as is, drop that right hand down so the back of my hand is on the inside of my calf and then reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Take your gaze with it if you can. So here, take notice if your hips are you to tuck, pull them in. Finding a nice strong structure here through the legs, anchoring in, activating the core. Now as you exhale, you're gonna bring that left arm more forward. So up and over in direction with your head. Let's go ahead and challenge ourselves. You wanna next step, you're gonna take that right arm parallel underneath and reach longer towards the front. Inhale, we're gonna pull our body up, use our obliques and reach to the back wall. As we exhale, we're gonna come back towards the front. Using your core here, keep those hips in. Inhale, bring it up and exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, bring it up. We're going to three. And exhale, one more forward. And then inhale. We're gonna tee the arms out, swing that left arm under, take a step in with the back foot, make your way to warrior one. So warrior one, your hips are square, pressing in to the uh, outer edge of the back foot. And then inhale, arms up. Front knee is slightly bent here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Swing the arms behind you. Find a bind. Straighten the arms if you can. Lift the arms up higher towards the ceiling. Squaring the hips here with a flat back. We're gonna take it halfway down. Reaching the crown of the head forward. So you've got to hold uh, the belly button towards the spine here. Anchor in, hips are square. Another breath. And then as you exhale, release the hands, bow into it. Hold here for at least another breath. Inhale and exhale. You're gonna start to bend that front leg, your right leg, <clears throat> excuse me. Shift the body forward, find a standing split. So you can either step back to your plank or if you wanna challenge, you can kick that left leg up, step back with the right, find your high plank or modified, shift the body forward, let's chaturanga into a plank. Taking your left palm into center, we're gonna take it to a side plank. <clears throat> so side plank, your feet are generally stacked. You have options of bringing the right foot in front, stacking or modified, dropping that knee down. Now we're gonna use our obliques again, so reach up, exhale, you're going to, like you're serving cookies or pizza behind you, you're gonna crunch and pass it through. Inhale, this is the modified version. Exhale, push through. If you want the uh, more challenge here, full plank, side plank. Exhale, push through. We're doing three only. Now stack it up. Swing that right arm all the way back. Finding your high plank, low plank. Shift forward, chaturanga again, into upward facing dog. 
pressing it back into downward facing dog. Walk that dog a couple times. <clears throat> We're bringing the right foot down. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Press back, pressing that right heel into the mat. Big inhale, exhale, bend that knee. Stack the hips, lift that knee up towards the ceiling. Remember that shoulder's probably lifting, so square the shoulders to the mat. Press back, knee up. Big inhale, exhale, you're gonna swing that knee underneath of you towards your heart, lift. Inhale, press back, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that left knee to the left elbow. <coughs> inhale, press it back, got a frog in my throat. Exhale, bend the knee, twist to the right elbow. Bring it back, inhale, exhale. You're gonna bring that leg all the way forward, drop it between the thumbs, pressing the hips down into your high lunge here. Another breath, stretch the hip flexors. Now pivot that back foot at 485. You're gonna take that right arm, swing it up and back into your warrior two. Active arms, find that resistance. Deepen the knee bend if you can. Bring that right arm behind you, inhale, reach up. Exhale, reverse your warrior and lengthen that front leg. See if you can reach a little further back here. Big breath. And exhale, you're gonna bring your arms to T. Keep the legs straight. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, drop the hand down on the inside of the uh, calf. Stack the shoulders. Reach. Now remember the hips. They're sticking out. Pull them in. Reach, stack the shoulders, take your gaze with it if you can. Next inhale, or next exhale, you're going to press that right arm forward, reaching out in the direction of the crown of your head. Challenge yourself by hovering left arm underneath and reach, inhale, swinging all the way back. Reach to the back wall. As you exhale, nice and graceful, move. If you can, gracefully as possible, and then inhale, bring it back. Exhale forward and reach. See if you can reach out another half an inch. And inhale, bring it back one more time each way. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, back up to teed arms. Nice, and then exhale, or sorry, exhale. You're gonna swing that right arm forward. Step forward with the back foot. Did a little slide there and reach. This is why I call it yoga practice, right? It's never really perfect. So reach up. Exhale, you're gonna bring those arms behind you, bind the hands, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift the arms up towards the ceiling, pull that right hip forward, and bow halfway down. Finding a strong foundation between the feet, the legs here, and your core. Next, exhale, you're gonna release the hands and bow into it. Release the neck muscles. Take another deep breath here. Now you're going to begin to shift forward, bending that left leg, bringing the hands down to the mat, finding your standing split here. So remember, you can uh, just step back to your plank, or if you want something fun, kick that right leg up, bring the left back, shift forward, modify if you need to. Let's chaturanga halfway down. Bring it into upward facing dog. Press it back into downward facing dog. Let's roll the body forward taking it to side plank on the other side. So right hand comes in the middle, shift into it, wrist always in line with your shoulder, stack the shoulders here, take your play, uh, plank of choice. So if you need to modify, you're gonna drop that inside knee. So here we go, inhale, lengthen, press the hips up. Exhale, you're gonna serve the cookies behind you. Crunch into those right obliques. Inhale, lift, exhale, serve, inhale, lift, Exhale, serve, inhale, lift, and one more. Exhale, serve, bring it back up, and then bring that left palm down. Shift the body forward, modify if you need to, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Pressing it back into downward facing dog. Walk the dog a couple times. Now press both heels down, hips up. We're taking it to the floor so that we can do a little bit for our back here. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, rolling the body forward into that high plank. Drop the knees. So I'm in a modified plank. Now we're gonna drop the belly, chest all the way down. I gotta scoot back a little bit here. So, 
belly on the mat, chest on the mat, bring your feet together, or about uh, hip width distance, sorry. So, extending your arms out in front of you like a Y. Now, press the pelvic bone deep into the mat, start activating the glutes by squeezing them, protecting your lower back. We're going to lift the legs up off the floor. On your inhale, lift, 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 lift. Hold. And exhale, bring it down. Now, next one. You can release the glutes for a second. Now, you're going to press the pelvic bone down, back into the floor. Protect your lower back, squeeze the glutes. We are going to keep the feet down, lift the chest up. So, on your inhale, lift up like Superman. And exhale, bring it down. Now bend the knees, tick tock the legs, release the lower back here, straighten them back out. Next time we inhale, we're lifting the arms and the legs up. So when you lift up, I want you to think about pulling the shoulder blades back and down your back, using all your back muscles to keep you afloat. So re-tuck the pelvis back into the mat, squeeze the glutes, let's go, one, two, three, inhale it up, exhale it down. Keep the pelvic bones, uh, Forward into the mat, we're going up, inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale up. Like Dorothy wanted to go home, kick those heels together for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and drop it down. Now bring your feet together, going into bow pose. So for newbies, I want you to do one leg at a time. So you'll bend the left leg, Reach for your ankle or foot, flexed foot. Keep your right arm out in front of you. For pros here, or not pros, but more experienced yogis, go ahead and grab both ankles. Walk those knees towards each other. Now on the count of three, we're gonna inhale, lifting the chest and legs up off the mat. So whether you've got one ankle or two, all the same thing, get ready. One, two, three, Inhale, lift, pulling those, so don't flare out your knees. You want to pull your inner thighs towards each other, stretching through the shoulders, your core here, and slow release. If you've got the left ankle, go ahead, release it, switch it. So you would grab the right now with your palm, left hand out in front, or both, whatever you're doing. So on the count of three, we're going to lift it up on the inhale. So one two, three, inhale, lift, 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 kicked in, or you're kicking into those palms, hold, don't let the knees flare out, and exhale, release, bring your hands to the mat, tick tock your legs side to side, now drop the legs down to the mat, slide your palms in, lift the body up, cross the ankles behind you, and bring it to seated. Let's just catch our breath once again. So let's roll the shoulders forward and back, forward and back. Sit up nice and tall. Go ahead and re relax the eyelids. Gather your slow, deep breaths here. And just, I know it was a quick 20 minutes, or it might be 25 by now. I want you to just take that time, or the the time this time right now to thank your body for what it just did for you that was hard to get out <laughs> for what it just did for you in this past few minutes here remembering that we are our own worst critics so try to let go of the judgment or whether you didn't like what you did one of the poses let it go because you know what you did it you did this 20 minutes or ish minutes <laughs> so be proud Keep the body moving and keep it strong and healthy. Start to flutter the eyelids open. And let's drop the chin. Take one slow, big head circle to the right and to the left. Meet in center. And let's scoop the arms up for a deep, deep breath together. Reach up as high as you can, press the sits bones into the floor, exhale, press the palms together, hands to heart center. The light within me recognizes the divine, beautiful light within each of you.
please know how grateful and honored I am that you're allowing me to guide you through a practice. I look forward to many, many videos sharing with you. It's a dream come true of mine. So I hope that you find strength in these, confidence, more flexibility, learning what more your body can and will do for you, and teaching you awareness of your mind and body, and to be more present throughout the day, not just through your yoga practice, but through each and every event and minute of your day. I look forward to this again soon. Namaste, my friend. Yay!